Hollywood is working to preserve the memory of Nelson Mandela in light of his passing. Actors who supported Mandela during the anti-apartheid movement were able to organize their political support thanks to a Jewish woman, Sharon Gelman. She co-founded Artists for a New South Africa. Sharon Gelman says her Jewish faith compelled her to stand up for the rights of others. The apartheid in South Africa reminded her of the effort to end segregation in the United States. In 1989, she helped found artists for a free South Africa. We didn't realize that, you know, probably about a year later, a little bit over a year later, Mr. Mandela would walk free from prison. We, we thought when we were founding the organization that we were going to be teaching our children and our grandchildren to fight apartheid, that this was, we, th we, we thought we were going to be in that battle for the long haul. She says many of the white South Africans that joined the anti-apartheid movement were Jewish. I feel proud of the fact that, you know, the Jews were represented there and they, they were doing, there were many of them who were doing the right thing. With the apartheid officially over, the organization changed its name to Artists for a New South Africa, and the focus was then on the 1994 elections. So we did all kinds of things. We helped to put together print ads and, and media ads. Gelman says her organization brought a delegation of celebrities to South Africa to help teach the nation how to vote. Angela Bassett, you know, and Danny Glover walked up and showed, you know, kind of acted out how you how you um, cast a ballot. That star power also helped ensure that the elections were free and fair, because when celebrities show up, so do international media cameras. Gelman says it certainly sent a message. The world is watching, and we are going to raise a ruckus if anyone messes with your right to vote. And we're going to make noise if the elections aren't free and fair. We've got your back. Just when Nelson Mandela's presidency ended, today. Artists a for a New a South Africa attention, shifted its focus to poverty, education, to and HIV AIDS. Year after year, uh, Artists for a New South Africa sent delegations to the country. Celebrities, including Carlos and Deborah Santana, Alfre Woodard, and Samuel L. Jackson, met with the people of South Africa and with no, Nelson Mandela. I, up, I didn't know that I was going to meet such important visitors. <laughs> <laughs> Gelman is now packing up the office because the organization is once again shifting its focus and its leaders are helping preserve the legacy of anti-apartheid leaders, including Nelson Mandela. We want to make sure people understand that this, that Mr. Mandela and his comrades and his colleagues were human beings who paid enormous prices for what they achieved. And they did it with such a belief profound innate belief in the fundamental equality of human beings. Gelman believes the legend Nelson Mandela will be remembered for hundreds, perhaps thousands of years. Her organization is working to preserve his memory accurately so future generations can appreciate Mandela and the anti-apartheid struggle. Lindsay Mastis for JN1, Los Angeles.